Hey, so in this video, we're going to be talking about GitHub, um, a tool which is used by people that are programming to basically accomplish two goals. So first of all, it allows you to keep track of different versions of your code. So let's say that you make something that works, then you make something, you make changes and it breaks. You can easily go back to the thing that worked and you have a version history of all the different changes you've made, which makes it really nice. So that's one reason we use it. The second reason is that it allows us to collaborate with other programmers on a single project. So what GitHub will do is it will allow you to basically um, keep your code in sync with other people's code. So let's say that they modify one part of a file on their computer and you modify another part of the file on your computer. It'll merge them the changes together so that they all work out. Now, in order to use it, first of all, go to github.com. github.com. And you will see, basically what you want to do is create an account. So sign up. And I already have like an account, so I'm just going to sign in. There's my stuff. Um, and once you have it, you'll see basically at your profile, um, all the different things that we have, which we'll talk about in the next few videos. So yeah, this was basically just what GitHub is. Um, now let's look at how do we actually install GitHub. Now GitHub is something which you use through the terminal command line. And so it'll be useful, that's why we kind of talked about this earlier, on how to actually use the terminal. So we mostly talked about this, so I think everyone should be fine. The key is actually getting Git into your system. So GitHub um, commands are run through git and then something. So initially to install git, all you have to type into your terminal is git and then it will ask you to install the Mac Xcode developer tools and git is included in that. And so then you'll have it on your computer ready to go. And so if you're on a Windows, then you can go to GitHub and basically install it from their website. Um, but on terminal and Macs, it's pretty straightforward like this. So at this point, make sure that you have an account on GitHub as well as Git installed on your terminal. And in the next video, we will be looking at how do we actually create a repository and put our code online.